Hello, hello, what's up everybody? We're playing Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm Captain Spandex. Um, playing a little bit off camera as usual. Uh, here's the map. That's the city that we were in last episode. So I started uh, exploring here. Because uh, there was a mission. Was it? It was like, yeah, it was right here. Uh, where I found like an evil chicken egg. And it hatched and killed all the chickens. And then I brought it to his father. And his father was like, kill the chicken. I was like, okay. And I, and I got an award for it. So there's some weird quests in here. Anyway, we're going to explore the land. But first, we got some levels to do. I figured I'd take you through that process. You get to see the character sheets. This is a very D&D-esque type game. It doesn't use any D&D rule sets. but uh, So here's uh, my main character, Lois. She's a strength polymorph build. I got two attribute points. I don't think I need memory. Memory is so you can memorize more skills. <clears throat> which I could use. Yeah. yeah, maybe I'll pump one into memory. Actually, no, you know what? She needs constitution. Because uh, I did a mission where I kissed a spider. And in return, it, it boosted my strength too, but lowered my constitution too, permanently. And uh, yeah, so let's give her health. She needs health. <clears throat> Boom. Okay. We don't have any ability. I already used my ability point on uh, hydro hydrosophist. Hydrosophist? Hydrosophist, that's for healing, because we need more healing people. Uh, now, ability points. I'm going to put this into persuasion. She's very persuasive. And we don't have any talent points. Okay. <clears throat> Next. The dwarf. Beast. I already used one ability point. So the other one... <clears throat> he rarely ever dies. He's very beefy. Uh, they don't target him much. So does he need memory? Bind that wound that it does not, fester. not really. So let's give him... Constitution. Could give him wits. That helps your initiative. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's give him more initiative. Because he's he's probably our... Sh well, Sabeel's probably our strongest. But he's up there. He's got some great magic spells. He's a uh, arrow third. So he does lightning. Uh, he's got eight warfare. Because four from his gear. That's pretty darn good. Uh, he's a single-handed fighter. I could put one in the single-handed. Uh, but I'm going to go Aerotharge. An ability. I'm going to go Lucky Charm. Just keep giving me that sweet, sweet loot. Okay. And what's cool is, as long as I think he's nearby, maybe he doesn't need to be nearby, but if he's nearby, at least I know, uh, Losa, or whoever loots the treasure, will, like, it'll say, like, Lucky Charm, thanks to whoever... So it doesn't have to be the person opening the chest, it seems. Okay, Sabeel. She's probably our strongest character. Find that wound that it does not fester. She does kind of die a lot. <clears throat> memory. Let's first look at memory. Um, <clears throat> doesn't really need it. Soothing cold is pretty... I never used it, but... Seems like it's pretty good. Heal your wounds. We need you uh, <clears throat> no, <clears throat> I'm gonna give her uh, wits. Could get more constitution because she does die a lot. <clears throat> yeah. What's this? This raises my attack by two max. Yeah, we're gonna pop. Oops. Okay, because we don't have a lot of healing yet. We're working on it. Uh, and this, <clears throat> I could give her a second. You know what? I think I blew it on my attributes. Cause hold on, I need two hydrosophists for that. Hmm. Heal your wounds. We need you standing. And doesn't she actually? Healed or not, I fight. I thought I had a really good healing uh, book. I thought she absorbed it. Maybe not. Hold on. This uh, heals character. Ooh, that's pretty good. That does that cost two uh, um, source points? Because right now I think I can only hold one max. Okay, this one. <clears throat> so 
So I blew it. I should have done a memory one. Let's memorize that spell. Oh, not remember. Okay, you can't even memorize it. Uh, so I blew it. <clears throat> I can still do this. But I'm going to have to get rid of one of my skills. Ginger, it's too early for you to be doing that. Heal your then, wounds. We need you standing. Uh, you, you know what? I fight. Maybe sneaking? Ginger, boy. <clears throat> Don't hit the mic. I know you love to hit the mic, but... No, please. You can come up. Alright, let's learn this one. We're gonna have to take off a skill to use it. Once all are well, once more we take the let's learn that. And stop. <clears throat> let's just learn it. Oh. Sure, why not? Okay. So. Sorry, this is uh, not maybe not interesting, but I wanted to show you, like, because I don't think I've really showed you my characters yet in terms of what they could do. So I definitely want Healing Ritual, I feel Healing like. <clears throat> Seems pretty good. 79 Vitality and can hit multiple people. What can we get rid of for that? Sleeping Arms. Ginger, please. Corrupted Blade costs three. Maybe I'll get... Oh, I could get rid of this. This will free up two spots, and this costs a source point plus three action points. And this doesn't seem that great, honestly. It's very situational. Uh, <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna do that. Next level. She's gonna be to level soon, so I can level up memory. Uh, we're gonna give her healing and soothing cold. She's gonna be our main healer, I think. Okay, so they're soothing cold. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna move over spirit vision, keep it away so it's easier for me to remember. Teacher, please. Once all are well, once more we take the mill. Okay, I'll put spirit vision there. All right, I gotta, I gotta reorganize my tabs here because it's getting filled up with skills. All right, is that it for her? Any other stuff? No. Okay. And then Fane. I think I leveled him up a little bit. Okay, attribute. Does he need memory? Uh, he's got a lot of skill. Oh man, look at all the stuff he's got. <clears throat> Let's give him one memory. And he also dies a lot. It's for probably him constitution. Yeah, let's keep our people alive. Plus he's he's the hardest to heal because you can't use healing on him. He only heals through poison. Ginger, please. I know you're cute, but you gotta go. Let go. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put him down. Um, need you standing. <clears throat> so what am I doing now? Skills. Stop. We could do fortify or fossil strike. I kind of like the idea of fortify. Let's go fortify. So now that's right here. Which is not a great place, but whatever. So much stuff in our hot bars. And it's kind of annoying to like to set these, at least on Xbox. Okay, levels are done. That's an episode now, I'm just kidding. Let's save it. Okay, Ginger, you gotta get down, bud. Come on. Okay, good boy. Oh, good boy. <clears throat> Let's explore. First place I want to go to is this mill. I don't I passed by it, but apparently I missed it. Uh, let's get my main party member. Make sure we have the right equipment on. See, she doesn't. She has bartering on. We don't want that. Ginger. And he's good to go. All right, let's check out this mill. Get some mushrooms on the way. 
big mushroom. Stop! <laughs> Lay down, dude. Wait, what's moving? Something's moving up there. See, it says there's a mill here, but I don't see it. It's, it's like hidden. This looks like an elven proving ground, but I've never seen one for myself. Journal updated. A trial for all seasons. In the woods, we came upon four statues surrounding a brazier. <coughs> brazier. Brazier? I always forget to pronounce that. Also, there's a squirrel up there that I really want to talk to before I engage. Can I stop, please? We can attack that. I can't move it. What if I teleport it? Yeah, get out of the way. <clears throat> Almost destroyed it in the process. Ginger, please stop. I know, you gotta lay down, dude. Uh, I got a bird's eye view. I see some oil barrels. Also, you can scope the area out by doing this. It's kind of cheese it a little bit. I don't know if it shows you everything or not. Stop. <laughs> move out of the way, people. I need to get the ladder. Come on, move. God. Son of a... Oh, that's annoying. Everybody get out of the way. Thank you. Alright, so nothing here, apparently. I still want to talk to that squirrel, though. I don't know how to get over there. <clears throat> I could maybe teleport one of my characters? Seems like there's a better way. Alright, Ginger, you gotta get back. Okay, come on. I know. Say goodbye. There's a hero of spring. Well, I better save it before I use that. The totem looms over you. Its lifeless eyes seem to follow you around. The totem looms. Okay. I want to talk to that squirrel. Maybe I have to teleport. All right, fine. I will teleport. No stuff. Or I can teleport the squirrel. I don't think I'll like that much. Go. <laughs> Ginger, you're annoying me now, dude. Nice to have some squeaking elves around here again. They always put on such a show at those big old heads. Kaboom! Splash! Sizzle! Oh, bloodthirsty? Wait, is that it? Nice. Oh. Guess that's it. How'd you get up here? I guess squirrels can climb. Uh, okay. That's it, huh? Although it does kind of foretell that uh, bad things could be happening around here. Gotta be careful. Come back, Lisa. <clears throat> yeah, he takes damage too because she has retribution. Pretty high retribution, which means any damage put on her is reflected back a certain percent. <clears throat> okay. What's this? The totem is still and silent. Is it because it's not winter right now? The tongue of flame. I see you, but you are no elf. This place is not for oh. you. Its trial is not for you to attempt. Can I prove myself as a friend? Very well. You may face the trial. What does this trial entail? You shall learn all that you need to know. Elves know that nature is a finer weapon than even the sharpest blade. The four okay, seasons, seasons pay homage to their skills, solve their riddles. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer, okay. I am the voice of the fire. 
Okay. Uh, I kind of regret it. I should have talked to her with the elf. I see you. An elf by appearance is not always an elf by heart. Prove yourself. Who am I speaking oh, to? I am the voice of the fire. My flame bears the will of all the elves and lights the way. Save it before I start this trial. Prove their metal. Prove their metal. All right, I'm ready. So you'll do it. <coughs> nature is a finer way. Pay homage. Winter. Okay. So you're gonna go for it, Seville. I think. The totem is still. Wait, I think I'm understanding something. Hold on. The totem stands dormant. Hold on. I think I have to attack it with certain attacks. I see you. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles. The sky lit a glow. So maybe. Summer burns. Okay, Air winter. Fiery as a heart. Use ice and snow on winter. Do I even have ice and snow attacks? I got a frost grenade. <laughs> I slipped on the ice. Get up, Seville. You're embarrassing yourself. Did I do it? From somewhere within the totem, a voice booms. Winter, that armors our forest home in ice and snow. Let it make our enemies stumble and fall. And make them easy meals for our spears. Okay, I think I did it. So, <clears throat> autumn was lightning? I see. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles. The sky lit a glow. Rumbles. Summer burns, air fiery as a heart. Spring quenches with blood. Okay. <clears throat> so autumn, I gotta use lightning. Can I just do him? Can I do it with him? <clears throat> Autumn's lightning. Ginger, please. I'm begging you, dude. Hopefully he's able to do it. And it works the totem for stares ahead. Maybe not. Oh boy. Uh. I see you. Winter. Summer shuffle. burns. Okay. So you're the Bernie guy. Which one's summer? Spring. Summer. Fireball. And then I think bleeding. What's this one? I might have a bleeding attack. Piercing. But she really doesn't have a bleeding attack? Really? She's... Unless you can just physically attack it and that'll count toward bleeding? Try ruptured tendon. That seems like a bleeding thing. Invalid target. Okay, what if I just do a throwing knife on it? The totem looms over you. Nope. The totem stands dormant. Does one character have to do all of it? What's what's this? Razzle Dazzle? <clears throat> Ginger's nesting. Uh let's alright, let's um let's give Sabeel a fire grenade. Send that to Sabeel. And then what else do we need? We need lightning. She does have a lightning scroll. Okay, let's try the fire grenade. On summer. Bloop. Did that work? 
The totem stands dog. No. I see winter shudders with ice. Summer burns and snow. air. Autumn rumbles. <coughs> the sky lit a glow. Summer burns. Air fiery as a heart. I don't know. The totem stands. You know what? We'll come back to this. We will come back to this. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to blow through all my items and stuff. We'll, we'll have to think about that because scrolls and and grenades and whatnot pretty hard to come by so far. So let's do some ex more exploring. Forget that whole riddle stuff. You know me and puzzles. I don't get along with puzzles. Unless it's a puzzle game. Like, I'm playing Turing Test right now. I'm doing a Let's Play on that. Uh, which, that game's really good, actually. <clears throat> it's, uh... Got sort of a portal feel to it. Ginger's nesting. It's a ginger. Alright, let's explore more. Forget these freaking freaking riddles. Right, Ginger? We don't like riddles. We don't like riddles. Yeah. We like pizza and popcorn. Okay. Alright. Long loading time. <clears throat> Long loading time, but once you're loaded, it's pretty good. Like, if any of you fast travel, it's pretty much instant. Or if you enter a new area, it's pretty much instant. Alright. <clears throat> I still don't know where this uh, freaking mill is. Let's explore northwest. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've been up along the coast here. So let's do that. Exploring. Stop, Ginger, please. Oh, mushroom. Okay. What does that say? Oh, it's a mushroom. Okay. It's a backpack. <clears throat> That's uh, suspicious. Open it. Fisherman's journal and, a bo and three bottles of beer. This guy's got it right. He knows what's up. Fish bucket. Poison fish. I give poison fish to fame because he heals through poison. Oh, let's say goodbye. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, Okay, keep exploring. I don't see where this guy went. He's got a fishing rod. You know what? I could use, actually, this skill, which lets me see ghosts. Maybe he died. Let's try it. No, don't see him. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Um... I don't want to go up in this area yet. Kind of want to make it easy to remember what I've explored and what I haven't. Oh, there's a NPC. Okay, hold on. Tree trunk. Bench. I'll go talk to that NPC in a second. So you can actually, it's interesting. You can go this way, this is the main path, <clears throat> but you might get denied entrance. Perhaps, and then you could sneak this way. That's what I'm guessing. All right. This might be a little bit longer of an episode. We've been doing short episodes on this, but this game is more conducive to... What is that? A toad? Rocky River Frog. It's my favorite bluegrass song. These river guys will shoot you through if you get too close. I'm going to try and slip through the back way myself. I like it. Ribbit challenge. 
Okay. He's gone. See, uh, so I was right. If you get too close, they'll shoot you. I guess on sight. They're not messing around. Uh, anything here? Nope. Okay. Oh, hold on. Axe in the woods. Uh, it's heavy and not worth much. Okay. So there's signs of people. Oh, what's over here? <clears throat> Mushroom. I'm totally a pack rat in these games. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. All right, let's keep exploring. Get that mushroom. I'm kind of avoiding this whole area a little. I guess. Well, let's let's go up here. Uh, yeah, I want to explore <clears throat> up here and here. I want to get as close as I can to this whole thing without going in. And there's an outhouse. I see poison. Oh, secret. Yes. You find secrets based on your wits stat. And my wits stat's really high because I don't want to miss secrets. Also, another level up. Yes. I was like, right. I was really close to leveling up again. That's why I did the whole let's finally level up. Because I like to procrastinate that because you never know what stats you might need. Especially like when it comes to that memory stat that I was telling you about. You might all of a sudden find a bunch of new skill books and be like, damn, I wish I had a memory stat to actually equip those. Or you might find like a legendary piece of armor that requires like 12 finesse. And if, if you want to put it on a character who doesn't have high finesse, which Sabeel's the only person who does, you may want to boost, you may, it may be worth boosting finesse just to put that armor on. That's my thinking. That's why I put it off, because you never know. <clears throat> uh, unless I encounter a really hard battle, and it's like, okay, I better level up to try to beat this. Alright. So, where else are we going to explore? We're going to explore... You know what? I guess we could go in here, couldn't we? Should we? Let's see. Yeah, I guess we could. Band oh, that's the sawmill that the elves were talking about. These elves, I thought it was here because they said mill, but these elves were like, somebody got captured, a very important person, and got them at the mill. So that's almost certainly combat, big combat. <clears throat> or I could probably stealth my way through. But anyway, let's go in through here. I got a ton of new abilities off camera. Like, it's getting a little overwhelming at this point. Just how many abilities I have. Okay, I've been up there. Also, I've heard about uh, a Magister's, like, abandoned caravan thing. But I don't know where it is. And a sunken ship full of treasure that I've heard tell about. Uh oh, it's saving. That's usually a bad sign. Okay. What's this? Oh, okay, Elven Camp. So let's stay to the left. There's an NPC there. Get those mushrooms. Oh, that NPC is probably the um, squirrel. Okay. No signs of life yet. The reason why I walk like in corners that obviously don't have anything is because my um, wits, my wits stat might uncover some treasure like you just saw with the dirt pile. So, any kind of uh, conspicuous corners. Uh oh, this looks bad. This looks like a combat arena. Oh my god! Where was the sound effect? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> what the heck was that all about? Was it a trap that I set off? Hold on. Oh, should I save scum? No, I won't save scum. Shoot. All right, let's just go in. Let's just go in. Screw you, fire. Dead elf. Oh, did I kill the elf doing that? <laughs> Got some gold. Tomato. Anything good? Interesting. What? There's a uh, mupper? 
Is that his name? Ooh, decaying. Gross. Careful now. Oh. That's a trap. What kind of trap? Explosive. There's a lot of traps here. Plus, that combines with the poison. That's pretty deadly. Oh, we're slowed. All right, you know what? We're going to call it an episode. On the next one, we're going to finish exploring this whole area. There's got to be something good in here, right? <clears throat> and then uh, after that, before I head up there, I kind of... Well... Yeah, I kind of want to explore... All around here. Maybe here. And here. I'm trying to do, trying to do it systematically so it's easy to remember <clears throat> where I have and have not explored. Um, but anyway, that's an episode, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This game is great. It's a slow burn. I hope you're into it. Uh, I love it. I don't know what, how, how well it translates to a Let's Play. Um, so definitely let me know what you guys think. Because um, <clears throat> I could certainly... I'm still going to play this off camera, but I could certainly do a different game. Um, on stream. So, I'm kind of putting off Octopath right now. I've been playing so much Octopath that... Uh, I will... I'm not done with it, though. I, I should have a new episodes of that, um... I should Monday. Uh, I got none in the can right now. So anyway, I'm babbling. Thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!